Jars are the gift. With big jars, you can make beautiful gifts that are triple in use. Little jars can double and triple in use, along with your glass bottles can be converted into gifts as well. And we're, we have big jugs that we can do too. So we're going to start out and introduce you to Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. And I'm repurposing a big jar. All these free printables, you will find the link in the description box down below. And you can fussy cut these with your crimping shears. Now the Mod Podge directions say to roll it on the table. And the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge is more of a gel. And it does dry clear. And you still want to use at least a couple of coats. But use it very sparingly. A very modest amount massaged onto the glass and place it on the back of your printable. Now these were done by Inkjet Printer. You can use laser and you can always capture photographs from Pinterest, Google, and different places that you're inspired. Perhaps you can even make a snapshot of a favorite photograph that you really want to decoupage onto your glass. As you can see, I put a modest amount on the label and the glass, and you want to make sure that the underneath is Mod Podged before laying down your label. And then you want to pat it with your brush. Put a very thin coat, modest amount, over the label itself. You'll want to allow it to dry in between the coat because you want to apply at least two coats to your label. This makes them totally dishwasher safe. You can actually put these in the dishwasher and the label will remain on there until you remove it. And therefore, you could use this jar over and over again. So think outside the box when you're designing it. Use enamels anytime you're painting on glass or metal to also make them dishwasher safe. And once again, apply two coats. Enamel paints are generally safe for dishwasher within 72 hours. Here I'm just repurposing the bottom of the ornaments from our previous video. Be sure to click the link I card above and go check that out after you watch this one. So I've got two coats on my lid and using the bottom part of that ornament, I have created a bird's nest. Now I went outside and I snipped off a piece of my grapevine. And while it's still green, you can twist it and wrap it into a small wreath. And this little bottom side of an ornament fits perfect in there, just like a little nook. And then I will take some of the moss and glue it in the bottom and create a bird's nest. Now this particular jar, we are making it for three times the use. And you'll understand as we go along. So as I've created this bird's nest, I'm going to take burlap and place it on the jar. But the jar and the lid are still usable. So to create sort of a stay put stitch or, or fray, use a little bit of glue. And I'm just using some of the Dollar Tree wood glue. And the fabric from our previous video, I showed you how to use Terrell Magic and I used my ink stamps to create a tag and I'm gonna use these cardinals from Dollar Tree. These were perfect, so I just took and fixed the feet and glued it into place. So here is the pre-tie easy hack. If you go ahead and pre-tie your string, lay it across your fabric, and then that way you can pull it, it will put the fabric into place and you won't have to fight with it or run it through the fabric in order to tie it on. Also, if you bring your string around twice when you pull it, it will stay taut before having to knot it or tie it. So here I've decided how long I want it and I've affixed it. So here's how to train your burlap. An easy hack is to mist it with a little bit of water in a bottle and I keep a spray bottle in my craft room. Now once I've gotten it wet and tied it, you know, just tied it, don't put a knot or anything, get your heat gun and heat it a little bit and dry the water and voila you will have your fixed burlap now it will stay that shape and that's what i mean by this being a triple gift 
We have the cardinal in the bird's nest. We have the burlap and we have the jar. So two of our gifts is the jar itself is a gift. It can be reused, it's dishwasher safe, and whatever label or thing that we place on it can be adorned in many different ways. The top of it with the cloth, having the cardinal attached to it can also be pulled apart and laid up or placed somewhere that they might want to add to their decor. And then the little things we're gonna place inside, you're really gonna love. So glue your bird's nest on top and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and save it to your playlist so you can refer back to it and do this task. So the extra special goes beyond the jar. And this is the triple gift. You will find the free printable down below, and this is a poem by Emily Dickinson, one of my favorites. And I found that the wood slats from Dollar Tree, along with some cookie cutters, make this a triple gift. So you want to paint your wood pieces and color to complement the jar, per se. Trim down your poem, and then you're gonna decoupage it with regular Mod Podge onto your wood board. And once we have placed a small modest coat on the back of this printable, once again, these were done with an inkjet printer. So you have options. You could do inkjet printer or you can do laser jet printer. And you wanna put a modest coat on that dry wood because I used a Waverly chalk paint, so it's really, really dry. And the Mod Podge will seal the color on plus adhere our label. So now we have our little poem on there. And use your brush as your tool and place your label into place by patting it and rubbing it down the sides. Put the extra coat of Mod Podge on there. You'll only need one when you're doing this particular application. Now, once I've gotten that attached there, I have a couple of others I did for gifts as well. Now I've took my sanding pad and my sanding sponge helps take off the excess paper and distresses the wood a bit. So here's another little hack. Take your antiquing wax or any of your antiquing colors and one of the cotton little, you know, tabs. This is not a ball, but you could use a cotton ball. This is a cotton swab. And I am just putting a distressing look with the antiquing wax on the actual point and board and all about the corners, including the back. And as I'm rubbing it, I'm not only applying it, I'm also massaging that wax to preserve the wood and to give it that slick coat. And as you can see, these turn out different because you could do distressed or not distressed. Now, I used my staple gun, and this is the Surebonder Trigger Fire. You'll see the link for it the affiliate link is down below. You're welcome to purchase this. It is great for small task and large. And if you buy the kit that I did, you get the staples as well of different sizes. So I attached a hanging string cord on the back, placed my last piece of Mod Podge, and now you want to give some heartfelt extras. So what I did is I printed off a bird suet recipe. You'll find the link down below. And I had these leaf cookie cutters. And that is the perfect thing to add in here because now I've tied on the poetry and that's on the board. They can hang that up. And additionally, the bird seed that's going to go in the jar, they can make their own suet. Now we're going to deal with the little jars now. So repurposing your glass and regular Mod Podge and the free printables. I did two different kinds. These are the apothecary and some are just regular household detergent, tea, coffee, and things of that nature. So you'll have two different printables to select on doing your little jars. But the little jar is going to give us double use, and you'll understand why. So the other jar we did was triple use with the bird seed, suet cakes, as well as all the free recipe rent printable and the poetry tied to it, as well as the birds. And I painted the lids to complement the color. Now these jars, we are making them for double use. We're using regular Mod Podge, and you can use two coats on this. I wanted to share this with you because you may have a sewer in the family, or a handyman, a 
mechanic, or maybe you just need something a little extra to hold your buttons and beads in your craft room. And these make great handy supplies. These are Tostita salsa jars, apply two coats of Mod Podge, and it will hold up for many, many years. All of mine just have regular Mod Podge on them. I have washed them with hot soapy water, apply two coats, and you are on go. So grab you some washers from your junk drawer. Take a screwdriver and pierce you a hole in the top. Then glue with your E6000 a washer on the underside and the above side. This way you can string your jute twine through there or you can use regular cotton twine as I did on this heart. With this one, it's been taped with painter's tape, but now that I have some washers, I'll fixate that on there as well. So there's your double use and many uses for your little glass jars. Next up are glass bottles. You're going to love this one. Once again, some more free printables, and we're gonna use the dishwasher Mod Podge with this one. Now I did have to fussy cut this particular label to fit the jar, but as you can see, it's a perfect fit now. And I'm gonna distress with my favorite, Burnt Umber. I have a subscriber who loves to distress with this color. She and I are from the old school, and we used to do a lot of distressing and antiquing with burnt umber. Nowadays, you can buy antiquing wax and many other stains to help you distress. But if not, and you have burnt umber, use you a, one of the Q-tips and a little bit of paint and just rub it on there. And it will stay on there. It's wonderful. It's better than ink. And once again, a modest amount of Mod Podge, the dishwasher safe, Put a little bit on the back of the label and then you're going to attach it to your jar. Always put two coats of this Mod Podge as recommended by the manufacturer which is plaid and they tell you on the jar. And if you get a little on your shirt, do like me, just pick it up with your brush and keep on going. We are DIYing and I usually wear about anything in the craft room so I got paint and Mod Podge on everything. Now the lid here, this is how we're gonna make this double special. Take you a flathead screwdriver and a piece of wood and pierce you a slit into this lid. And it will take a little bit of elbow grease, but you can manage it. Use your needle nose pliers. And now we can press down the sharps with our screwdriver and make sure that those rough edges don't hurt anyone, especially the receiver. Now, we have a piggy bank. Isn't that neat? Now we got more than one use for this bottle. Take your sanding sponge and sand the metal. You will get better adhesion with your paint. And once again, use enamel paints for glass and metal. That makes them dishwasher safe, two coats, and allow at least 72 hours before getting any water on it. And it will stay permanently. So here's the extra special. I created cards and all kinds of information and descriptions and repurposed a beautiful folder. I also had this stamp of sign language and I made these little cards. <clears throat> so I stamped them on the back of that folder and I put my label on a mason jar. I went to Dollar Tree and they had these beautiful peppermint spoons, candy canes, and putting all of my little Hershey Kisses and some Withermans, along with some scrapbooking paper, a cookie cutter, and a hanger. And not only am I adding all this to the jar, I'm making it so that if they wish to turn the cookie cutter into an ornament, they have scrap paper, they have candy to enjoy, they get to learn something really new and interesting, like spelling their name in sign language, and they have a cookie cutter there along with a recipe. And you can find the link to the recipe in the scratch box down below. Make sure you save this to your playlist and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up is greatly appreciated. It helps me and YouTube know you enjoyed the video and would like more of the like. So as you can see here, I left this part in so you can see how I packed out my jar. 
So moving on to jugs. Jugs are a great resource, and this one's plastic, and I wanted to leave this in to show you what you can do with the plastic jug. This is a one-gallon plastic jug, and by the time we get done with it, it's going to be something extra special. You can also use dishwasher safe Mod Podge on the plastic jugs. Isn't that a bonus? Now, I have bought some gingerbread mix, and I put that in the jar. I also had a bunch of cookie cutters that I added into the bottom, and I'm going to share with you something extra, extra, extra we did on this jug. So this particular label, you can find the link in the description box down below. I also placed one on the lid because a lot of times with the jugs, after they use the cookie mix, they can add other cookie cutters to this jar and it will become memorabilia. Kids who have done cookies with their mom or their grandma, they're going to remember this jar. And this jug will serve more than one purpose. So here's a recipe for sugar cookies, and it is a legendary sugar cookie recipe. I also printed labels and stickers as well as gift cards. So what if they make cookies for other friends? Now they have gift cards. And for that little extra special, I added all that in the jar, and I added baker's twine to each one of these to and from cards that I created for them. Placed them into a Ziploc baggie and put them back into the baggie and put them in the jar. I also created a little printout up there, a photograph of all the different cookie cutters that's already in the jar. And I glued it to cardboard or cardstock so give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and make sure you save it to your playlist so you can get back to it. And I also provide them with a bird suet recipe. So they have a cookie recipe, they have gingerbread mix with the gingerbread recipe, they have the bird suet recipe, they have gift cards, they have scrapbook paper, they have the sign language card, and they also have all the cutters that they can turn into ornaments if they desire along with a keepsake jug and i made the recipe waterproof by adding packing tape to the front and back so 11 cookie cutters and a picture of all of them along with a gift tag telling them merry christmas enjoying it and letting them know what's in their jug so thumbs up leave comments tell me what you have made with jugs and if you enjoyed this video Please comment and share it with someone. They might just enjoy this idea as a gift for Christmas. Until the next DIY, this is Elizabeth saying Merry Christmas from Dandy Soap DIY. Thank you for watching. Select the next video right here.